her er et lille udklip fra foredraget CCD, hvor Jennifer Barry fortæller om hendes forsøg på at finde voks uden pesticider. Hvis du vil se hele foredraget, skal du logge ind på Mosby og finde videoen under 10. vi møde. We needed clean wax. And so that's why I went to his operation because I'm like, well, he has clean wax because he's never used chemicals. And I collected his wax cappings from his honey supers. And we found 870 parts per billion of Kumafos, 31 parts per billion of Kumafos oxam, which is the breakdown compound of Kumafos, and 2,500 parts per billion of fluvalinate. That's actually eight parts per million, no, I'm sorry, 0.8 parts per million and 2.5 parts per million, where the legal part is 100 parts per million. Kind of give you an idea. So where were these chemicals coming from if he had never treated? From his wax foundation. Now this is interesting because that's the only thing he did. He wasn't near any other beekeeper. He was pretty isolated. So he wasn't, they weren't getting contact from flower to flower, bee to bee, that could be bringing this, these compounds back. So we actually took his wax, his, or we took the wax foundation and from all the different distributors there in the U.S. and had them analyzed and they came back loaded with Kumafos, fluvalinate, and also too, 2,4-dimethylanilin, 2,4-dimethylphenylformamide, which is the breakdown compound of Amitraz. So, from foundation, it is moving all the way into wax cappings. Hvis du vil se hele foredraget, skal du logge ind på Mosby og finde videoen under 10. vi møde.